Hi guys again. Ah, uh, told you it's gonna get a lot of these out today. So, uh, Drea, Drea from Basketball Wives LA. Drea, oh Drea, this is getting embarrassing. <laughs> Drea, listen, Drea, you represent all girls out there. So, you and you represent the crazy ones. <laughs> I thought that you were developing more class than that, Treya. Come on, didn't you leave? Hi, hi, Miami. Didn't you leave Basketball Wives this season early because of a ridiculous fight that you got into? By the way, Treya, you go blind. You're that girl. You black out. You're that girl. You're that pretty girl that blacks out. Like, you're that girl that looks really, really pretty, but is really, really crazy. <laughs> Drea, people love you, Drea, but when you begin to act a little cuckoo crazy, none of us know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with crazy. I'm not down for crazy. I'm not down for crazy. You know what I would say, Drea? Walk away. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Walk away. Wilson, Wilson Sheep's Clothing, yes! <laughs> that pretty girl that's sexy, has the perfect body, all guys look at her, crazy, nuts, blacked out. And I, I can kind of respect that she may have had a lot of defense mechanisms. She's been fighting all her life. But Drea, at this stage of the game, you're no longer 15, Drea. I like your skulls. Thank you. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I had to change it because somebody was like, background. And you know what? Now I was thinking about the background looked disgusting. What the hell was I thinking? All the crap that I had on my wall. This is just pleasing. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. Drea. Drea's crazy. At first, I was going to check to see if she was crazy, but she kind of proved it. Hey, did you guys know that she put um, his clothes in a tub? He must not have been home at the time. He must have came home and poured bleach all over his clothes. Oh, my God, guys, don't do that. No one, no one get that much revenge on anyone. When I tell you it's not worth it, <laughs> it's not worth it. Because sometimes when you step over, you can't come back. Like, then you need meds. So. Why didn't she get arrested, though? Maybe you can't get... Oh, maybe you can't get... A, you can get arrested for vandalism, but she lives in a house. Oh, maybe that's it. She didn't physically touch him. He did get a restraining order. I'm having this conversation in my head, by the way, because I'm just wondering why she did not get arrested. Now... I'm just going to check what's around Drea, because this looks like a train wreck, and we're going to just watch it. And I was telling someone yesterday that the timing of all of this also may have been a little bit calculated on Orlando's part. Not trying to do shade of her. Maybe that's why she doesn't have... Ooh. Okay. I thought she got custody of her son. Didn't she ever regain custody of her son? Drea... Drea, if, if you, uh, Drea, if you don't have custody of your son, you'll never get custody of him, but I thought you got custody of him. Hi, Olivia Pope. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. You're damn right. <laughs> Olivia Pope. I love it. Olivia Pope is psychic. Not to my knowledge, she never got that child back. Hey. Uh, Drea, you're too public for this. You're too public. God, if I were in your position, you know what I would do? Straight and narrow. I'd be like a robot and straight and narrow. And by the way, do you think... Oh, wait, hold on. I like to talk too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you think that I did not have custody issues with my son when I was raising? My ex-husband took me to court every time. He could, like, I breathed the wrong way. And my ex-husband took me to court. Never got my son from me, ever. In fact, I wound up with full custody, so there. <sighs> okay. She's lost. You know, I was joking when I said she was crazy, but she actually is lost. 
Oh, she wanted a family with him. Or they may have been talking about family. I got to tell you, part of their, I believe she has him, has him, but her mom raises him. That means she doesn't have him, all right? A child needs to be with its original parent. Where's the daddy at, by the way? Okay, why isn't the daddy in this picture? Is he in jail? Is he a bum? <laughs> Probably. Um, Drea was trying to create an empire with Orlando. Like a very powerful couple. I, in her mind, let's remember that she's not okay. In her mind, she was trying to create an empire. I do feel like there was a business deal that went along with this engagement somehow. All she, were they going to get married in three months' time? Were they just about to get married? Three months? Three weeks? No, like three months? Like two or three months out was, was the engagement? Um, well, she did love him, guys. She did. Um, she did not want to walk away. Ugh, what happened? Um, she wanted family. Let's be clear about that. She wanted a baby by him. Yes, they were supposed to get married. He took her in Graham's room away. Was she a former exotic dancer? I don't know. Prob I don't know. I heard. Does anybody know she was a former exotic dancer? Um, she... In my, the way I'm getting it, she was all encompassed with this wedding. And she kind of was making him crazy. It had something to do with money or spending too much of his money. He began to see that she was really, really greedy. And, oh boy, guys. Maybe this isn't going to make sense. Or maybe it's mean. You know, sometimes I have to look at a card and, 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 and the way it's showing up and then make a decision. There was something about either, why would she cheat on him? There's something here about cheating, cheating, or or leaving the impression out there that she was alone with someone and the potential, like, is something like she couldn't prove it. She couldn't disprove it, is what I'm getting. Not that she was cheating, but that she couldn't disprove a position that she was in with another gentleman. And it was someone close to him. You would think, it was someone very close to him. It was like, if you if you could if you could do it with this person and by the way I don't get that she cheated but if you could do it with this person you'll do it with my dad like it's kind of that kind of impression that I'm getting from Orlando He just became confused when when he looked up what he be, when he looked up and what he began to realize was one that she was crazy this is my crazy card and that there were so many different things about her that weren't okay that over time and something about money. I promise you, money is the key with Drea. I know it doesn't make sense because you would think she'd make her own money at Basketball Wives LA. And Drea's going to miss the money that Orlando brings in. He must bring in decent money. More than she makes at Basketball Wives LA. But remember, she was never coming back to Basketball Wives LA. Um, they were fighting all the time. It had something with a trip or a vacation that she took. A trip or a vacation. It had something to do with a trip or a vacation. Spending too much money. Fighting about it. And there was a text message that ended this. He was like... Don't come home. Wow. Drea. And he pulled his money back. Something about, by the way, a business venture even that they were both getting into. Or it was her business venture, but he might have been funding it. And he was like, nope. <laughs> Drea. 
Drea is sick right now. She is sick. She's trying not to look like she is upset over this relationship that's lost. But Drea, it's it's done. And anything you do at this point besides the restraining order that's put on you, you're just going to contribute to your demise. So Drea, pull way back. Pull way back. I, I don't know how you can. There's a legal situation coming with you and this has nothing to do with just a restraining order. It is something bigger, Drea. And this could be your legal situation, not his with you. It's kind of like you're out of control and you wind up in a legal situation because you're blinded right now. You just, all you can see is that you want what you want when you want it and you can't have it. And so it even could be, I didn't see that. Repeat what you just said because sometimes I look up when I do these readings. I wish there was a ding to let me guys know that somebody's saying something to me. Um, it even could be, it'll come about in about a month's time. It comes in a form of greed. It comes in a form of some sort of partnership. It comes in a form of this is what you agreed to and you will pay up. I don't think he fully trusted her. I know. I could see that in the last, you know, Basketball Wives LA. He didn't even want to claim her. There's self-sabotage, Dreyer. If you go, if you sue him to keep a contract between you two, it ends. Everything about Drea. Let me tell you something. Peace, God, send this to Drea. Everything ends with you. <laughs> Everything. Your career ends. Now, whether you, like, whatever drama you're in, Drea, it's over. Um, It's just over. Drea. Okay. Nobody has to believe me. Drea's career is over. That's the way I'm going to end it. Drea, you showed you're crazy. And we as women, we don't want to see that crazy. We're all trying to, like, figure out ourselves and and be in close proximity of, like, our best kundalini in our spirit. Drea, pray. Drea, pray for yourself. Pray, pray that you be still. Because right now, oh, honey, I'm actually feeling bad because I know her son could use her income. Andrea, you did not think about that child. Okay, guys, I can't talk about this anymore. Dre is done. Career over. You're going to see Basketball Wives LA. And maybe for the drama, they might keep her on for another season. Maybe. But after that, there will be no more Drea. There just can't be. And I, I honestly believe Basketball Wives may film earlier than expected. Because they want Drea's drama to be a part of the next season after that the the there's not going to be any public support for drea so i know you sell bathing suits or something like that over all right i'm kind of bored with this one maybe because it was just obvious right call me for your own personal readings 818-985-2010 oh and by the way the sierra and future he finally talked i predicted it he finally talked and he's saying some stupid things. You're an idiot, Future, right? <laughs> You're an idiot, Future. Just shut up. Ah, uh, Future. She's in love with somebody else and you're just like blah, 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 blah. Stop. All right, guys. Check out the Sierra video. Bye.